report on positive psychology in a particular case. My case, in the case of Rally. I inaugurated the series for what it's worth uh, some time ago um, with the purpose of trying to see uh, what these uh, tests will, uh, will bring if there will be a, another individual talking here with uh, uh, expansive, exuberant mood with who knows levitating floating or they drive me crazy but the psychology does nothing and I'm just uh, uh, a smaller uh, thing uh, anyway they say that with age you tell her wrongs or what is it that what, what's that Your, the size of some things inside is getting smaller and uh, he did something bad then. Okay, just fix it later. And uh, negativity, that will be the outcome on account of these uh, uh, vultures, uh, which we'll is eliminate this thing here. Anyway, um, so I just read in the positive psychology in practice uh, that salutogenesis. Genetics, genesis, salutogenesis is the thing wherein we understand we have stress factors, bugs, uh, bacteria on which traditional medicine concentrated, but we have much more than that and any and every individual is affected. So we're always somewhere between healthy and unhealthy and uh, with uh, a, a sense of coherence and uh, 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 a sense of uh, uh, with manageability, uh, cognition, and meaningfulness as elements of uh, sense of coherence, we can try and get ahead and uh, control and have a healthy, excellent life. To which we add, or there's a in the in the interdependence uh, with positive psychology, uh, and then. There will be, I have a note on that, but that's in a general context, and I need to see how this uh, sense of cohesion applies to me. Plus, um, intrinsic goals as opposed to extrinsic goals. Um, we need to, I need, because this is for me, they say also that if you pronounce them loud and clear, if you write goals, you're more likely to, to continue on them. And if you make promises, here I will look um, in fewer time and see what, what I did. Uh, I need to look for goals that are intrinsic. Um, uh, I was thinking for some strange reason at the woman I see at the, at the pool, uh, and her boyfriend, they're both crazies, I would, I would say, but then maybe this is my low stage here, low stage of uh, increasing goals of uh, SOC, social so sense of coherence and so on, because coming back in a few years time, maybe I see them as really achieved um, individuals um, and um, not close to the Dalai Lama but on that path and maybe in a few years I'll see that they are here on their road to Nirvana, Everest and so on. Now I see them that just as odd guys. They have this sense of, um, maybe especially her, of being um, otherworldly, of being it would be good for them if they're transcendent, if they're just outside the things, but on top, high on over there. To me, at this, at this moment, it just gives me a, a sense of being disconnected, of being weird. The guy has some, in the sauna, has some things about salt, that salt is being compromised. To me, he, he sounds like bullshit uh, artist <laughs> in history of the world. <laughs> 
there's that thing with the, to, to bring in humor at least because humor is needed part of Bhartik psychology elements and secrets of, of happiness um, uh, Mel Brooks in the Roman Empire history is turned upside down there's a, 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 an African American coming out of the Roman Senate with a, uh, a, a stereo blasting out loud won't you take me to funky town so you understand it's not it's not history that's some <laughs> uh, cabbage uh, mixture over there but anyway in this scene he's waiting at the unemployment office in the Roman Empire imagine that and um, in front of him there's a gladiator Pro occupation gladiator did you kill last week no did you try and kill last week yes well you have to kill this week otherwise would you have to change your occupation uh, so now there's Ben Brooks, who won the uh, uh, special BAFTA a week ago or so. Um, occupation? Stand-up comedian, I think he says. Ah, so you're a bullshit artist. That's what I know. <laughs> Did you bullshit last week? No. Did you try and bullshit last week? Yes. Well, you have to do something about this. <laughs> you know, we have to change your occupation. Something like that, I mean. I hope I remember the lines correctly. We used to keep them between us all the time, fresh and uh, uh, always um, reminding each other in our circle of friends because we've seen that together, we liked it so much that they became uh, um, sometimes um, uh, used, they, they were used instead of hello, did you bullshit last week? Anyway, um, so... Um, uh, we'll see. These guys may have something. He, he sounds to me as the conspiracy. They, they, they play with our soul. And I don't know. Uh, and she's also, as I said, gone. Gone, baby, gone. Gone with the wind. Uh, absent, not in a good sense. But maybe I'm wrong. Maybe they have. The point being that I also think that it's, it's the calm serenity by be able to go into traffic and listen to these crazies shouting all the time and just be up there, you know, up there, not <coughs> like those uh, ashram going uh, weirdos. <laughs>